Hi Virgo, I'm G1 Ready with G1 Assess. This is your life and love energy for two months for September and October. Virgo, it looks like as if you have a lot to celebrate this season. So it's best to be humble, continue to be kind, continue to be generous, continue to have an open heart because yes, the universe is definitely working some things out in your favor. However, you still want to be mindful when it comes to, you know, socializing and being a part of something, you know? So like, for instance, if someone invites you to do something or, um, you know, this can be like to a gathering, to a party, um, maybe like a family invitation of some sort, whatever it is, you know, try to just have an open heart, go out, have a good time, um, still remain the beautiful, humble person that you were, okay? So it seems like you got these six of pentacles here. And that's really good because that's all about your money, receiving some type of financial reward. Maybe you guys being offered a wonderful position, any type of bonuses or something. This could be a raise, a promotion, gifts of money or for your time. This could be a new job or a new career opportunity. Okay, this can also be giving you a chance to kind of um, have the extra funds to maybe pay off some bills or to um, pay off some minor debts that you had recently, okay? But it does talk a lot here also with the four of wands, you know, some type of celebration. So once again, you guys are definitely in a really good mood, okay? Feeling content, feeling a lot of peace and a lot of abundance. You're experiencing really it all. It's like as if you just got it made this month, right? And for the month of October, it says a happy home life, the successful completion of a project, feeling victorious, feeling like you finally won. And you're very true to think that because you do got the chariot energy here as well. And the chariot energy is definitely about being disciplined, um, being honest, being humble, you know, being grounded. The cherry energy is also about being very loving and supportive. Um, did I say charming already? <laughs> so it also talks to here about public recognition, right? Like getting a lot of love or, um, like I said, I feel like you guys are going to be getting rewarded for something. So this definitely could be some type of recognition on the way, all right? We also have here the Knight of Cups. That's a lot of emotional, intense energy, and it could be around um, the new moon in your sign because it is a super moon, and it is going to change a lot of people's lives. There's going to be a lot of transformation around that time, around September 17th, 18th, or 16th, give or take a day. Um, that week is going to be very interesting because you're going to be looking forward to seeing some bonuses, seeing things change right before your eyes. Some things may still seem very unreal to you. So at that time, though, so, you know, expect your emotions to be very intense. Um, expect love to be a tad different. Romance can be returning depending on, you know, whatever position you were in in your love life. You could be possibly meeting someone new. You could be, you know, your relationship could be increasing or going to the next level. It also talks about the need to balance your emotions. So once again, we have this energy about paying attention to how we treat people, you know, paying attention to how we manifest what we manifest. Are we being kind? Are we being a jerk? Are we being um, cautious? Are we being um, open-minded and open-hearted towards other people? Okay, that is what the Knight of Cups is all about. But this can also represent someone new um, throwing themselves at you, someone coming out of nowhere, sweeping you off your feet, making you feel really good. Good. But this can also be that same person as being very kind and generous, riding on a horse, ready to take you away and rescue you. This person can also be someone who is not totally good for you. So you want to be careful because with the Knight of Cups, he comes on really strong, really powerful, really beautiful, making you feel like, you know, everything is perfect. And then you find out reality. So be very careful with who you give your heart to, especially for those of you that are single, Virgo, okay? It says here, um, a wedding proposal could also be in a way if you are dating or possibly single, okay? Or you could just be simply being invited to some type of celebration. But it seemed like pretty much 
from like the whole month of September in mid or throughout until mid October, you guys are going to be experiencing a lot of transformation in love and in your financial life. So that's really good. That's really positive. And I'm guessing that that's what you were hoping for, right? Because it has been kind of crazy in 2020. A lot of people going through things, struggling, having some issues, right? 2020 has been rough on a lot of people in relationships and financially for a lot of people. It's been rough. Okay, it says here too, with the two of wands here, you know, that you're definitely coming into yourself. You're finally owning up um, for that self-responsibility, you know, trying to open up some type of savings account. Um, sorry, guys, that's my dryer. So you guys are, could be possibly even thinking about moving forward and on a positive note, right? Like, how can we make things better? How can we save our money? How can we um, make good business choices? How can we invest in all of the right things so that way we don't go through certain things anymore? So Virgo, it looks like you definitely are taking a much more um, mature approach. You know, because like I said, some career opportunities come in, you are gonna have the money to put away and you're gonna have the extra money to kind of basically do whatever you want. Um, whether that's putting money up for a rainy day, traveling, you know, spending your money on your children, spoiling yourself. There's going to be a lot of grand things coming to you. All I can say, Virgo, is that your new moon is all about, you know, what we can do for people and not so much about what they can do for us. So whether that means to even call your children up, hey, how are you? You know, I have something for you. You know, this can be good news that you need to share with them. Or maybe they have good news that they want to share with you. But either way, it's like a... You know, once again, it's like, what can I do for you and not so much what you could do for me? So you want to make sure, once again, that you are remaining grounded and humble and that whatever blessings you receive, that you are also pouring out that blessing to other people and that you are not being selfish and trying to keep it all to yourself. You want to make sure that you do continue to spread the word and continue to spread love and light. And when I say the word, I mean like... You know, being kind, saying nice things to people, okay? Being generous with people. Now, Mercury will go retrograde. Your ruling planet will go retrograde October 13th. Give or take a day, okay? And we know that during Mercury retrograde is not really a good time to sign contracts. It's not really a good time to really move or relocate or to uh, make some type of exchange of some sort because you might later on realize that that's not really what you want to do okay during mercury retrograde i would not suggest that you overly spend you want to monitor your finances it says here very strongly that it's a good thing to be cautious about your finances but whatever you feel like because again i do feel like you're going to have the finances to kind of splurge a little bit to do whatever you need to do and to do basically whatever makes you happy you will have that whether that's coming from friends, family members, an inheritance, a loan, a lawsuit, something is coming in for you, okay? But in the month of October, you still want to remember to be disciplined, right? But you want to also be wise. And if you do feel like, hey, I want to invest in something, or I want to do something, then make sure that that is the right thing that you really need or that the right thing that you really want to do, make sure that it is not too expensive, but that it is something that can be of value, okay? So in other words, you want to invest in something that can create possibly more money for you, um, that can generate more income or maybe more than one source of income, okay? So you want to keep this momentum up, in other words, okay? Now, September 17th, there, again, there will be a new moon in Virgo, in your sign, uh, September 12th, Jupiter will go direct in your sister sign, Capricorn. So it makes sense now why all the money is flowing and the good news is flowing because that is what Jupiter is all about. It's all about wealth, expansion, networking, um, really just all about public recognition as well, right? And then at the end of September, we have Saturn also going direct in your sister sign, Capricorn and that is going to release some restrictions and love and travel and all of those things so get ready for a wonderful fall you know even better winter okay yes there's going to be hiccups along the way but it won't be anything that you cannot handle September 22nd we had the autumn equinox okay that is going to be a beautiful week my love because we are literally stepping into that new phase 
especially after your new moon. I mean, we're going to be paying attention to all sorts of things, details, you know, people whether wondering if people are telling the truth or not, people are being honest or not, um, challenging. Um, there's going to be a lot of views or um, a lot of challenges when it comes to our views or our values. Okay, so pay attention to that energy as well. October 4th, Pluto will also go direct. <laughs> and your sister sign Capricorn. So listen, I know Uranus is retrograding right now in Taurus. So that might be a good thing though. That might be a really good thing because we're being more practical. We're making sense of everything. And Capricorn's energy is really going to push you over the edge and motivate you like you have never been motivated before. So you should be kind of thankful for all of the energy um, that is actually coming at you at this time. I know it's a challenge. I know it's been a while. But you guys can do this. No matter what it is that you guys are dealing with, I feel like you have owned it. You know, you have said, no, I'm going to get over this hump. And I feel like for a lot of you, you have actually done that. For some of you, you will be doing that by the end of October. There's going to be a major shift that is going to happen that is going to motivate you to get up and do the right thing. And you will get through that trying time in your love life and in your career and in your financial status. Even with your health, my love, there are some major improvements, okay? So you, have, you definitely do have a lot to celebrate this season, Virgo, and you should be so proud of yourself. All right, now, hmm, there's still going to be a lot of going on, you know, but we'll talk about it as we get closer to um, mid-October going into November. We'll talk more about the energy at that time, but for right now, I did pluck some more in animal energy out, just like I did for June, July, and August. Um, I did a lot of mammal and animal energy, but I wanted to just strictly stick to a lot of animal energy this month for everyone. So let's see what your animal energy says, okay? I didn't even pull it out yet, so give me one second. I have it right here. I have it right here. I'm shuffling. I'm shuffling. All right, Virgo. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh. Wow, the bison. All right. Haven't seen that in a while. Wow, look at that once again abundance and power guys like i said there's going to be a contentment a sense of contentment peace harmony abundance a happy home life okay finally you guys can breathe finally okay <laughs> There's going to be successful completion of some type of project, but until then, Virgo, you are being guided to be flexible. Go with the flow and allow things to happen. You deserve it, my love. You have been manifesting this thing, so why are you being in doubt? Allow it to happen. You deserve these things to happen for you, okay? Universal opportunities are... Once again, opportunities, guys, are stacked around you. That means that there's unlimited blessings all around you, my love. Okay, center yourself and resonate with your core values. Remember, I just brought that up. And you will reap many rewards. Wow, 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 wow. Virgo, when I tell you that you are blessed, my love, you are truly truly blessed and i wish you guys well your reading was really straight to the point i mean it really was it was like bam 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 <laughs> so i'm really excited for you i have not seen a positive reason reading like this for you in a really long time so i'm excited for you i feel like a lot is changing for you and you're getting ready for this this new thing that's happening this new momentum this new lifestyle of yours some of you are changing your hair color or changing the way you do your hair some of you are going to be changing your overall style your tone the way you dress the way you speak oh you got ahead virgo <laughs> okay listen guys i would love to share something with you my candle line passion versus pleasure guys i would love if i can have your support and your undivided love Okay, check out my website, g1insights.org. You guys can either choose to purchase a holiday candle 
or become a member of G1 Insights and our movement, okay guys? For every holiday candle that is purchased, we are going to donate a portion of our earnings to a family in need or a community. Guys, 2020 has been rough on so many families financially, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. Guys, so it's only right that we give back to the community. It's only right, okay? Whether that can be a new pair of shoes, a coat, a bag of food. Guys, let's just do the right thing. Let's go out of 2020 with a good heart and a good mind and a good spirit, okay? I appreciate you guys for purchasing these candles. I know that some, a lot of them has been <laughs> going. Um, and I appreciate you guys for even doing that. It means a lot to me, okay? But uh, please, if you you can't then at least go become a member and you can become a member by just simply going onto my website and click and become a member you can also check out other products and services or um, go to the store you can book your own personal tarot reading it's so many ways that you can actually help us on our mission guys but our holiday candles is the thing to be everybody's purchasing them and I would love if you guys want to uh, you know, jump in and get on that, all right? So I love you, Virgo. You have a great week and a great month wherever you are in this beautiful universe. And I will see you guys in November, or probably before then. <laughs> if you guys can't wait, check me out every single Tuesday, okay? I go live on Instagram. I will update you guys with the time because up until probably, um, up until further notice, I mean, I might end up changing the time. But it was 6 p.m., but I may end up changing the time later on, okay, because my life is about to get super busy. So I want to make sure that I keep my commitment to you guys, and I want to keep doing this. So if you are not following me on Instagram, the link will be below. Please hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, so that way each and every time that I upload a video or go live or make a post, you guys be among the first to find out. Thank you so much for being you. Bye.